Hello and welcome YouTubers. Today I want to show you how to set up your full Android OS using the best launcher I believe to be. Hello and welcome back YouTubers. Right now we're going to go into the Google Play Store and we're going to look for a launcher called Square Home. We're going to be using in this tutorial the old version. There is a new version that I honestly do not like and it's right here. You can all, by all means try it out and you can tell me in the comments below on, or even show me some pictures of your setup. You can also download a lot of these uh, free themes that work for both. I've already installed them. I'll show you how to use those a little later in the tutorial. And I have a demonstration set up a little bit. And right now we have a status bar at the top. We have four rows and we have the Google search engine bar. We're gonna hold left click and hold it down and to get to the options menu and the options menu has full screen tablet version you definitely want to leave this checked because you get the black bars on left and right so we have the full screen and we get rid of the status bar at the top and high google search at the very bottom now that's gone Right here is the number of rows. Right now we have it set to four, minimum is two, which I could show you. It made the icons a lot bigger. And maximum is eight, which I see you might as well just keep it on eight because you can always, and it's eight as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reason why I say you might as well keep it on eight because you can always make them a lot larger. And that's one big old like, um, tile. <laughs> Moving on, we can, this is, has to do with tile spacing. Tile spacing are these right here. You see that black lines going in between them? Zero and make them everything butted up against each other. 200 makes it twice as thick as the line is right now. I can't show it right now because I would have to restart the system um, to show it takes the effects. Margin at the top is at 100. If you drop that down to 30, you'll notice that home got really small at the top right here. And the same thing at the bottom, if you notice this icon, how the size of it. And if we drop this down to 50, now it just made it super tiny. So you can play around with those two numbers. And the animation, I'm gonna cut it off right now. With it off, it makes it come from the bottom. If you notice, it came up from the bottom. By default, this is turned on which I actually like by default. It's, if this icon was over, way over here, it would make it come all the way across the screen and come back. But because it's so slow, uh, close to the edge, it just comes up to the side and here you go. You also have a backup and restore, which I'll show at the very end. And themes is the things that I was telling you about that you can actually install for free. And we can choose like glass, and change the background, and also change your icons up a little bit. You can also still change the individual colors, and go to option style, and the themes come with um, different colors already preloaded, but I'm gonna show you how to customize each one of those individually. So I'm gonna choose this kind of like a reddish one. 
and you can also check mark this and if you want your app drawer to look different from what the theme offered I'll go to this dramatic one green and you'll see right here now these are not these are categorized from alphabetical order but they're not bunched together like all the A's together so we can go back in here and we can go to customize apps which is right here and you'll see that everything is broken up and all the A's are together, B's and so on I'm gonna go back to default now cut that off down you can also do text size and some other things I don't know which ones are um, the paid or not because I do have the paid version on here but for free the way I have mine set up by default um, you don't even need the paid version now I'm checking my checking the customized towels now the first towel is always the ones that you pull out of the app drawer and drop onto your desktop and also everything in the app drawer will be this color starting out but you can back, change the background of it I'm going to change it to a red you can also change the transparency of it and it's still showing the theme but there and if you want to put something back out here just drag it out left click hold it and then drag it now when you get these spaces in between here that means you can actually write something else on top like Google Amazon oh And if you put it like this, you start up another group. But if you actually butt it, you join it to this group. If you want to add widgets, widgets are in this. You have to go to your app drawer, and click on widgets. And we're going to show off a photo show. Put this way over here by itself. It automatically brings up this uh, menu. And then I'm going to locate where I have my photos. I'm going to choose games. Well, actually, you have to choose not inside the folder, but the folder itself. And just hit select. And you have games. And you can make this as big as small as you'd like it to be. And it'll be your slideshow. There's other widgets that come in. When you install things, they might come with a widget, and this is where you will go to find it. Here's a clock. If you want to make the clock smaller. If you want to change the background of the clock, lose options. This is the one I actually like right here, it's made by Zuper Widgets Pro. And you can come and customize, make things in here. I'm just choosing any color. And there you have it. If you don't like this particular kind of clock, you can have this one. And you can also have a set for when you have when you click on it, what its action will do. If you want to delete them, just hit remove. Uninstall will actually uninstall the actual app. Remove. Remove. Also, as you see this, you have 15 colors. These are the 15 colors right here that you can customize. 
themes, scroll all the way down, and these are them. One, two, three, all the way down. And I think that's all that will get you started. And like I said, you can always back up and restore your stuff. So I'm going to restore my settings. It automatically puts me back to my background that I like and how I have my icon set up. Now I can choose a wallpaper system and then you can go into live wallpaper and you have them in here. And then you just hit set wallpaper. I didn't choose set wallpaper, but, and that's how you do it. Uh, please subscribe. I definitely need a hundred subscribers to integrate my YouTube channel into the website. So please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video and if it helped you out.